And now joining us for more elections analysis, we have Dr. Moldechai Kedal, Middle East expert from the Big Sadat Center and chairman of the Professors for a Strong Israel, Mark Schulman, columnist for Newsweek and editor of HistoryCentral.com, and Daniel Pomerantz, executive director of Honest Reporting. So our first question is a big one. Has Netanyahu lost? Nobody knows yet. And anyone who says they are is uh, spinning stories to you. Anything can happen at this point. At this point, no party is in a position to claim a majority. And the people we think of as kingmakers, Lieberman's party, can't really do anything that they want to. They're constrained by the math. And in a surprise, the uh, third largest party is uh, the Ayman Ode-led uh, Rishimai Mishutef at the joint list, which is the Arabic party, which is notable that an Arab party in Israel holds so much clout in forming the new government. I would well, just answer that differently. Absolutely <laughs> lost. Not even a question. The reality is, before the, at the end of the last election, when he couldn't form a government without Lieberman, he had 60 votes, 60 members of the parliament. Now he has 55. He is not anywhere as close to 61, which, which he said was his goal, which is one way, the only way that he was going to get immunity from prosecution. He did not get it. He has 55. His chances of being the next prime minister, I won't say on zero. There are some possibilities you can possibly imagine, but are very slim at this point. He will try. He will not go quietly into the night. But it's very hard to see how he ends up being remaining prime minister, especially with an indictment right around the corner. Dr. Kedar, you're well, I think there are, <laughs> there are actually two, two options. First, that Netanyahu succeeds uh, to drag the Labour Party, uh, Peretz and uh, Orly Levy, uh, to the government by giving them whatever they like. But we've already heard reports that Peretz said no, there's no Well, chance. in Israel, when a politician says no, it means that he wants a higher price. No, but he won't do it this time. Wait, 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 wait. This is one scenario, and this, it is feasible. It can happen. The second thing is that somebody who's very close to Netanyahu will tell him, hey, guy, you're losing it. Go out now when you are still close to the peak before you have to go out when you are being kicked out. So but here's and, my question. And take, take somebody like uh, Israel Katz to replace you, and uh, you have no chance. Because the, I'll, I'll tell you why. In the Likud, in the Merkaz Likud, the center of the Likud, people start feeling that Netanyahu is more of a burden than as an asset. Until, let's say, a few months ago, people were overwhelmingly think that he is an asset more than a burden. But with the time, especially since he lost last elections and these elections, uh, he is viewed more and more as a burden. All right. What, and, I, what my question is, who in the Likud party has the gravitas and the charisma and the courage to actually step up Israel and take Katz. a leadership role? Israel Katz, he has the killer instinct, which is totally needed. Unlike Saar, Saar doesn't have it. But Israel Katz has the personal ability to tell the people, stop arguing, stop arguing and start working. Look, the most, reliable, the, 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 most yeah. the most reasonable scenario is Netanyahu negotiating an arrangement where he gets uh, out of his jam in terms of legal jam. He gets uh, either a pardon from Rivlin or just an agreement not to prosecute. In return, he gives up the prime ministership. That's what well, I would do if I was well, him at this point. It's the most logical thing. He's still, like he said, at the peak. He won't have to go through a trial and all the different possibilities. Most Israelis will all applaud. No one wants to see another prime minister on trial and no one wants to see another prime minister possibly go to jail. This will be the best solution for the country. But the question is, if there is somebody in the Likud who is courageous enough to go to Netanyahu and to tell him the truth. His and, lawyers should tell and him. If he his, can, his and if he can bring the party along with him. His lawyers can tell him very simply, you're going to lose this. Your best deal. I mean, it happens all the time with people who no, get so accused of, of things. So it's not of lawyers, it's not of politicians. Because no, but politicians his problem now is not in, in, in the law field. His problem now is in the po in politics. No, in the politics. No, he makes a, it. No, he well, has to about. personally make a deal. He makes a deal. He leaves office. The Likud goes into coalition with Guns. Blue and White. Gantz becomes the prime minister. Katz becomes whatever he wants. And, the, and we go on for another four years until we have the next election. All right, let's oh, talk about most Lieberman likely. for a this second. This will be the best solution <laughs> for the state. Lieberman, okay? Lieberman. Uh, who is he going to re recommend as prime minister in, in your eyes? Well, Lieberman has said that he would like to see a unity government, mm -hmm. and he's okay even if he's not in that government, which is a very statesmanlike thing to say. It's not mm -hmm. something you hear often in the Middle right, East, yeah. someone speaking like the, the, the adult in the room. Um, that might be possible. 
But right now we see that uh, blue and white has said that they can't sit with religious parties, and, uh, and the Likud right now seems to need religious parties, although maybe they wouldn't need them if they sat in a unity government. An interesting thing is if a unity government does form, then the head of the opposition becomes Eamon Ode, who is uh, the head of Israel's largest Arab party. Well, so, so I actually want to talk a little bit about the, about the Arab parties. First of all, uh, many, even within the Likud, are speculating that Netanyahu made a big campaign a uh, faux pas or a mistake in attacking the Arab parties uh, so early on as opposed to you know previous campaigns where he kind of did it the day of or, or even the day before. Would you agree with that? You know, why, mm. why do you think so many more, uh, why do you think the Arab why turnout so at the moment is so much? It didn't, didn't change, didn't you? Because those, first of all, Israelis are, are already used to this. The Arabs are coming to the no, bars. This, this, time this doesn't make, it, 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 make a, it make a, makes a change outside. Here in Israel, we know how to live with this. But if I was an advisor of Netanyahu, I would tell him, do something very strange. Offer now, offer the joint party, joint list, to enter the government because Ahmad Tibi is a doctor. He is a gynecologist. Can't he be a minister of health? In the, and, and and the, 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 I mean, the manager of Bank Lumi today is an Arab. Can't he be the minister of, of finance? Let them also be part of the burden of their responsibility. Why should Arab always sit outside? If Netanyahu did this, this would be a game changer. Because if they come in, in order to be part of the government of the state, Alan was Alan, as they should. But would okay. they actually that, sit with well, them? They wouldn't. There's not a chance they would sit with Let's be well, realistic here. I mean, let's no, let, no, let, no, look. No, no, no. Ballad look. will not. No, but, but there the are others the, will. No, the others will sit with Kaholavan. They will not sit with Netanyahu at well, this point. The, 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 because of what know? he has done, I'm sorry. Yeah. I said all along, and everyone who can be, an, can be a witness to me, I said all along the fact that Netanyahu was making a huge mistake by starting so early. Last time, when he said the Arabs are coming to the vote, he did it the day of the election. He did this two weeks beforehand. The Arabs came out to vote because of him, because of the incitement that he oh, did. The, I know a lot of Jews who voted. The of, of voting was much less than, than before. What are you it was like there? 50. It was 70% this time. It was way the up. The Arab vote was 70%. It was way, way up. It's unbelievable it's how much it went up. Yes, it went way up. But you but know what, what the, did they the vote for? parties? What? The, they, they, they voted for the, the joint. Not the only, but, but the joint. Many the, of them voted for, 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 Israel, but, but, for Jewish. But, they, they, uh, but you know, you, you have uh, Blue and White has already had talks with the Arab parties and said that they can't sit with them because the conditions the Arab parties would want from them are too strict. They, 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 they said that he wouldn't sit with them. Right, but what I'm saying is that if Blue and White at this point is saying that they can't sit with them and that may change, how much more... Could Lee could not be able for to say that. They haven't said that. Right now they're having a meeting today or tomorrow. And look, the main things that the Arab parties want are stopping all the guns that are in their cities, taking care of crime. Number two, taking care of the whole issue of zoning. Infrastructure. Zoning, infrastructure, hospitals, education. The Palestinian issue, they want some sort of peace process. Sure. They don't really care what it is. They want to say there's right, a peace well, process. Well, they is a big well, word. Well, we unfortunately well, have yeah. to wrap up. This is up. why Netanyahu can deliver. We unfortunately have to wrap up right now. Um, but I guess the conclusion here is that we have no actual idea what is going to happen. Very interesting arena. Yeah, we're in an interesting arena. Very interesting. All right, thank you all so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Okay.